Hello everybody, I am Adam the Silly Host and I would like to welcome you to Season 8 of Kilocraft. This season started about a month ago, maybe, I don't remember exactly. Uh, I have streamed a bit, but I haven't put much videos out, uh, so I would like to show you around my base and the neighborhood. So, this season, uh, with a little help, I have found this amazing cave that I have started uh, filling in with all kinds of builds and stuff and uh, <laughs> yeah I have some neighbors who put in some nice things we will come to that this cave uh, big part of it was actually an underground ravine that was filled with water and I had to dry some of it but other parts were pretty dry I guess and it's such a huge opportunity to fill it with all kinds of builds uh, so far I haven't built much I guess uh, but as you can see I got some resources in the past month or so I made some farms uh, yeah quite a bit and I also uh, got lucky as I got some spawners around this place I think I have all three spawners, like zombie, the spider one is here. Yeah, it actually works pretty well if you have time to wait for them. And I would like to make this place a little bit interesting if anybody ventures around to see what's... <laughs> Look at it! Oh my god, how? How is there a horse? <laughs> this is a honey farm filled with like 30 bees. What is that horse is doing there? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Oh my god. Uh, the whole thing, uh, all the farms are connected with waterways, so everything comes here into these uh, sorters to fill all the chests with goodies all the nice things um, well many of them are still empty as some farms are still not connected or finished at all this is for example a slime farm uh, just the usual one what why are there horses everywhere i mean i love horses but why are they in a slime farm i mean whoa what just happened? Okay. Let's try again. So, this is a slime farm. <laughs> that was epic. As you can see, there are golems at every level and the slime can fall down there. Uh, it seems my iron farm is working, which is up there. Uh, there are some crop fields that I love to build because for some reason I love to harvest them manually all the time and uh, if you come there there are of course some automated farms where villagers just get me the crops that I need there are some uh, villagers that are here whom I can trade with of course there are some automated ones once again this is for melons and pumpkins that's a closed system and the caves are pretty huge around here. Um, it goes on and on and on endlessly. And yeah, I actually uh, do have a deep dark all around this place. Not to mention some lush caves that way. Yeah. Um, I kind of forgot about that. Uh, yeah, this area is still uh, a bit scary, maybe. So if you come down here, be prepared to face the warden. And you can't get easily out because I made this wall. So if somebody spawns the warden, it hopefully cannot uh, run all over my base, killing all my mobs. Because I have quite a few, as you could see. Oh, come on! 
<laughs> How many horses are there? Seriously. I have neighbors, you see. And they are... And I, I mean, we are trolling each other all the time. But anyway, I have turtles. I have some axolotls here. Not all of them, sadly. I will have to venture out to find a few more colors. Like there is the pink one, the white one, uh, the blue one. I will probably buy the blue one from someone because I have no idea how to get that. I also have frogs and I also have two bats. Which are amazing. Thanks, Drex. <laughs> um, this is a basalt farm. I can just get this stuff. Amazing. Uh, this is another two uh, slime chunks that I haven't really built out yet. Uh, but they work pretty nicely. There is slimy, a big piece of slime that I sh named, so I really should figure out where to put him. Uh, maybe another day. This is supposed to be my trading hall for the librarians, but I still haven't uh, managed to get all the librarians that I wanted to. But I am so lazy to do this, especially when I have fu uh, fully enchanted gear and all that nice stuff. Um... I would say that the base underground is pretty much uh, this is it. Oh, I really should show off what my neighbors did. First, I got this nice little tent here to fill in that Im immensely big hole. And there is a crane that lowers this tent and under the tent there is actually... <laughs> <laughs> this nice cozy space beer to be in and it's all inside of my head literally <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is so crazy I mean this was a reaction to the heads that I have started uh, placing uh, onto the walls and I still have a few that I will have to do. I just re really have to come around to do that. And this is pretty much all my claim around this mountain. Uh, I have just started to build around here animals and stuff. Oh, this is the stables that I have started to building just a couple of days ago. I hope it looks kinda nice, it's far from finished, I need to do some sides and I also need to work on uh, a bit on this roof because uh, the roof turned out uh, a bit quite big <laughs> compared to the stables itself. So yeah, I have to figure out some stuff on that, but also uh, I have to do some landscaping as you can see that I have already started uh, with my lovely neighbors. We have some ideas to this place where we are building a huge tree. Uh, and this place, hopefully in a week or so, should be my warp where people can just teleport in and look around uh, in all our bases that, uh, that other people are building. I can give you a little sneak peek. I mean, yeah, we are pretty busy all around this place, building wonderful, beautiful, nice things, farms and whatever else we do. Sometimes I don't even know half of it, what's happening here. But uh, I can tell you that I am having the best neighbors here on this lovely server. Well, this shall be it for this short video. I hope that you like this little sneak peek. Uh, if you would like, just come to my base, uh, look around. Well, after I make the warp, hopefully. <laughs> um, and anyway, have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye bye.